Good morning, <clears throat> Cowboy Jim. Sure hope you're having a good day. I sure really do appreciate the idea that you'd take time out of your day to watch anything that I talk about. I've been really careful what I have talked about lately. It's rather interesting. I never thought anyone in authority or in power or in a place of um, self-declared significance, importance would uh, listen to anything I had to say anyways. Apparently they do. <laughs> Who knew? And um, I, uh, I, uh, I have not uh, taken the time to uh, study the news uh, today, so uh, let's hope I'm not speaking out of turn. I just uh, comment on what I heard yesterday and the day before. I uh, don't know that I've ever been quite so offended with politicians as I have lately to hear in Ottawa, apparently three people were charged with uh, various uh, offenses. One even a weapons thing. Uh, oh, it turns out that the two people that I know about, don't know, but I know about, uh, were from Ottawa themselves. And they just kind of strove for a little bit of significance and kind of infiltrated uh, uh, the Canadian truckers and, uh, and, uh, purported that they were of some degree of significance. Well, uh, our politicians do the same thing. It's kind of interesting that, uh, that we as a blue collared group of people, uh, are protesting at all. Uh, Canadians don't protest. We don't, uh, we don't threaten people. We don't <laughs> tell people uh, there will be serious consequences if you do the right thing. The reason we don't do that is we are not abusers. Uh, average Canadian is not an abuser. Average Canadian is a polite, yes, polite, humble, Mm, not self-righteous, but polite, humble, respectful of those around us. I am affronted by uh, our politicians on both sides of the aisle, we'll call it, some of which... Uh, report that they know what is best for uh, us Canadians. Uh, Tucker Carl Carlson, oh, didn't he just sum it up really well? Might have been Hannity. Mm, Might have been Waters. Dear Lord, I love that picture of our Prime Minister. Oh, with that black shoe polish crap all over his face and that great smile and white tooth smile. Yep. Yep. Pretending that he was a man of color. He's no man at all. Talks about going to work. Probably never worked a day in his blessed, useless life. Oh, geez, I hope this doesn't offend someone in power. I really like being in front of this YouTube thing. So I dial her back about four notches and say, politicians, when you speak, this is going to be a novel idea, children. Oh, dear Lord God in heaven. Try to have some semblance of truth in what you say and what you do. I have never heard such crap as I have recently. Where politicians 
political people. Doesn't matter which side of the aisle. There's corruption in the barrel of apples. about how terrible the average Canadian is and how we as average Canadians need to have a spokesperson <laughs> who is a politician. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not likely. Politicians, they don't understand that we don't need them, they need us. What scares the ever-loving, hmm, not using that word, what causes me some grave degree of concern is I could well have been a politician. But it has not been my opinion, considered or otherwise, that I would dare to think that I know more or knew more as a politician than the people that elected me. So children, both in Ottawa, <laughs> oh, there's another city down there. Oh, I'm probably wrong. I just bet, I just bet the protest is going to spread a bit further. Not just by ranchers and farmers and truckers, both male and female, across our land are going to stand together against what the truckers, the ranchers, the farmers believe is the overstepping of political people who though elected by us, which is to our shame incidentally people, there's a scripture, it says you have the quality of government that you deserve because you won't do anything about it. And what that means is you won't vote, or when you do, you vote without being informed. So I don't care what political party you're of. There are good and there are bad in both. I also don't care what scientific group of people you represent on both sides of every issue because that's up to them to decide. I understand why our truckers and ranchers and farmers are disenchanted with the government. That is because the government is telling you what to do. I mentioned earlier about the Coeur de Bois uh, they, uh, they broke trail in our land. Well, actually, they didn't break trail. They just followed what the First Nations people had already laid out, earmarked as being the proper trail to follow, and they followed. But they were men. I've never heard of a woman, Coeur de Bois. I'm telling you, I, I, I know a few French ladies, and, uh, and no one would ever tell them what to do. Well, one in particular, Hokey Diners, dear Lord God in heaven. No, 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 no. Oh, I respect that lady. I respect that Sikh down there in Audubon, white turban. He'd been running truck in Canada for 14 years. And the politicians, because of a lack of understanding, perhaps, of what really will piss us off, referred to the Canadian truckers as being racist. We're not racist. 
We're into freedom because our ancestors fought hard for it. The Coeur de Bois, they, uh, they made a path across Canada. Hudson Bay Company, all our ancestors that uh, went ahead of us, they tried to leave the trail well marked for us to follow in freedom, in peace, in love, in joy. They tried to make it so that we could make a living. So they stood against tyranny. They stood against people who run out of descriptive terms uh, premised on truth. If you're a politician, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. And they started using dirty, mean-spirited words like racism in Canada. Get a life. Well, there are some. I mentioned also earlier in one of the other videos about infiltrators working their way into um, a peaceful protest. Can you imagine how many trucks were in Ottawa and they only charged three people? And they're investigating quite a few more. Listen, if there is enough evidence, you think they wouldn't have because of the, the popularity of uh, supporting one group or another, they wouldn't have placed those bloody charges? <laughs> ah, well, who knows? We as Canadians, blue collar Canadians, we learned a few things over the years. My ancestors fought for Canada. I very blessed nearly joined up and went over to Vietnam when I was just turning 18. And I thought, I don't like snakes. <laughs> Vietnam's not the place for an Irishman that didn't like snakes. But those poor guys that did go, and ladies, they honored the United States of America. They didn't honor the politicians because you want a politician that uh, speaks the truth and you want to get some different politicians down there in Ottawa. Truckers really believe that they have influenced the demise of the conservative leader in Ottawa, and I think they really did. Not the demise, but the moving out of the political field of endeavor. Because you can't have an opinion today when the wind blows somewhat differently in half an hour. Your whole bloody precepts your your concepts, your ideas change like as though they, they weren't there in the first place and quite possibly they weren't. Children, quite possibly they weren't. And I would take my hat off, but Donald Trump and I, we both have pretty bad hair days. I generally have it every day but I would take my hat off to the city folk who have just about had enough of the processed hay that comes out the tail end of a horse that tells them when and how they should use the facilities that they pay for themselves. And politicians who believe that they are the answer to all our issues in life, screw off. You're not. The answer to the issues in our lives would be the creator of our lives. That creator is determined individually by each person in Canada as to what and who that creator is. 
we are of a diverse people. I think it was Tucker Carlson. He said, listen, you see a Canadian protest? You better pay attention because we'll do it peacefully. But Canadians don't protest much because we're polite and we're respectful. Children of Canada, children of the United States of America, this is not a call to arms. This is a call to prayer. This is a call to righteousness, righteous behavior, your behavior. We need support one another. I'll tell you this, bad hair or no, I'd be taking my hat off to Fox News. I have listened intently this last week to some drivel. It's called talking points. They're talk, called talking points. A semblance of truth, but not enough substance to blow anything to hell. Canadian truckers, United States of America. Oh, there's going to be a protest down there, children. Oh, dear Lord God in heaven. Because truckers, well, well, I just haul stuff in the mine up here when I have the privilege and the honor of having a job. But you truckers, you may choose not to believe in God and that's just fine, that's your choice. But you believe in something and make it your choice. I, I don't want anyone to make any decision based on what I say. I want you to base all your decisions premised on the information that you have, that you observe, that you walk in, that you choose to believe in. My great uncle, he, he, he wasn't a great uncle, but he was a great uncle. His name, Jim Marshall, came from the north end of Ireland. And he said, Jimmy, no one calls me Jimmy Children. My mom did, she has passed. My uncle Jim, he did, he's passed. He said, Jimmy, there are no foxholes in war that hold atheists. Summation, there are no atheists that live in the foxholes of war. They are true believers in God because when someone is shooting at you, you choose hope, you choose life. I've chosen that all my life. People will despise you, they'll hate you because they don't understand what you're doing, what you're fighting for. Our ancestors fought for freedom. Really, that's what you're doing now. You're not fighting for one side or the other. You're fighting for the freedom that you choose to believe in. Do it respectfully. Do it with kindness. Narcissism. We'll let the politicians walk in that. You believe in the real thing. You believe in a creator of all mankind, not, not one group ahead of another, not racism, not hate, not vindictiveness. Believe in that which is right. Jesus Christ suffered, bled, and died on the cross that all may have life if they so choose. And if they don't choose, it's their choice. They're neither right nor wrong because it's their choice as you and I walk in our choice. Choice is. Do the right thing, children. God bless you. God bless you.
God bless you.